All right, yesterday we learned how to multiply and divide fractions and rational expressions. Today we're going to review adding and subtracting fractions and apply that to adding and subtracting rational expressions. Okay, so in number one, we've got a common denominator, 7 and 7. So we can just add the numerators. 3 plus 2 is 5, and we keep the denominator. <clears throat> okay, so our steps are keep denominator and add numerator. So we're going to do the same thing over here. When you add and subtract fractions, you have to have the same denominator, and these have the same denominator, x minus 4. So we're going to add the numerators together, 2 plus x over x minus 4. Okay. <clears throat> can't add the 2 and the x if they're not alike, but we can put them together over one denominator. Okay, then the next one has the same denominator. So we're going to add the numerators together, and we can add the like terms. 2x plus 5x is 8x, or 7x. And <clears throat> negative 3 plus 7 is positive 4, and we put that over one denominator. Okay, number two is, is like number one, except for that it is subtraction. So we'll subtract the numerators and get 5 over 11. Keep the same denominator. So we keep denominator <coughs> and subtract numerators. Okay, so on these rational expressions, <clears throat> We've got 2x plus 11 over x plus 6 minus x plus 9 over x plus 3. And the negative or the minus sign is very important here because it's going to distribute to the x and to the 9. It has to distribute out to both of them. So they do have the same denominator. So we're going to um, subtract the numerator. So I have 2x plus 11 and then minus x and the minus goes to the 9, minus 9, over 1 denominator. <clears throat> and then we combine like terms, so we have 2x minus x is x, and 11 minus 9 is 2 is plus 2 over x plus 6. Mm -hmm. Alright, right, now this bottom one, same denominator. We're going to subtract the numerators. We're going to distribute that negative to everything in this, in this numerator. So we're going to have x plus 3 minus 9x plus 7 over 3x squared minus 4. And we'll combine the numerator. So we have <clears throat> x minus 9x is negative 8x. 3 plus 7 is 10. So negative 8x plus 10 over 3x squared minus 4. Okay, these do not have common denominators, so we're going to have to find one, and the smallest number that 8 and 4 will go into will be 8. So we'll change them both to something over 8. Now, the first one is already over 8, so we just keep it the same. But the second one, <clears throat> we have to change 4 to 8, so we have to multiply the 4 by 2, and whatever we do in the bottom, we have to do in the top. So we multiply the top by 2 and get 2 eighths. So 3 eighths plus 2 eighths is 5 eighths. Okay, so in order to add fractions that don't have a common denominator, we have to find a common denominator and add numerators. <clears throat> okay, so on this one, we've got a 3x in this denominator and an x in this denominator. So to make these alike, we would need to multiply this one by 3. And the, if whatever we do in the bottom, we have to do in the top. So we'll have to multiply the entire numerator by 3. So this is going to equal 5 <clears throat> plus, and the 3 is going to go to the x and to the 1. So we're going to have 5 over 3x plus 3x plus 3 over 3 times x is 3x. So now they have the same denominator. We can combine the numerators. 
So 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 3x over 3x. <clears throat> okay, these 3x's cannot cancel out because this 3x is married to the 8. And we're not allowed to cancel it out because of that plus sign there. <coughs> okay, on the second one, this one's denominator is 2x plus 4. So we could multiply this one by 2 and then the top by 2. So we have x plus 1 over 2x plus 4 minus 18 over 2x plus 4. So x plus 1 minus 18. 1 minus 18 is negative 17. So we're going to have x minus 17 over 2x plus 4. <clears throat> Okay, then the last one, we need a common denominator. Um, we're going to make, that's probably the smallest number that 7 and 5 will go into is 35. So 7 times 5 is 35. We'll multiply this one by 5. We multiply the top by 5. 5 times 3 is 15. We have to multiply this denominator by 7 to get 35. So we multiply the numerator by 7. 2 times 7 is 14. And we add those together and get 29 30 fifths. So find a common denominator. Okay, so here a common denominator could be <coughs> 3x. We can multiply this side by 3 and then this side by x. And now they both have 3x in the denominator. So we have 3 times 5 is 15 over 3x minus 2x times x is 2x squared over 3x. So that equals 15 minus 2x squared over one denominator, 3x. <coughs> and this one on the bottom, we're going to multiply this side by 2x minus 1 and this side by x x plus 3. So we have 4 over x plus 3. We'll multiply the top and the bottom by x plus, I mean, sorry, multiply it by 2x minus 1 plus 7 times 2x minus 1 over <clears throat> 2x minus 1. And I did it again. We want to multiply this fraction by x plus 3 over x plus 3. There we go. Now the denominators are alike. We've got 2x plus 1, 2x minus 1, and x plus 3 in both of them. So we'll combine the numerators and we have to distribute the 4 to everything here. So 4 times 2x is 8x and 4 times negative 1 is negative 4 plus we'll distribute the 7 to each one. 7 times x is 7x, 7 times 3 is 21 over 2x minus 1 times x plus 3. <clears throat> so 8x plus 7x is 15x. Negative 4 plus 21 is 17 over 2x minus 1 times x plus 3. And we don't have to multiply the denominator out at the end, but we can if you want to. <coughs> okay, let's turn this paper over. <clears throat> and we're going to skip this one. And we're going to actually, you can read, I want you to read about Fred and Ted. Um, it's these two brothers want to look exactly alike, and Fred needs to add something to make him look like Ted, and Ted needs to add something to make him look like Fred. Okay, Fred needs a goatee and a hat. Ted needs glasses and <clears throat> a bow tie. And now they have the same things. And that's kind of what we're doing here with the common denominator. We've got 2x over x plus 2 plus x minus 11 over x squared minus 4. The first thing you want to do is factor the denominator. So we're going to have 2x over x plus 2 plus x minus 11 over, and we're going to factor this. This is a difference of squares. We're going to have two parentheses, x times x. And then 4 will be 2 times 2, and 1 will be positive, and 1 will be negative. <clears throat> so these are almost alike. They both have x plus 2, but this is missing something that this one has. It's missing an x minus 2. 
So we're going to multiply the bottom by x minus 2 and the numerator by x minus 2. So 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 2 is negative 2x. <clears throat> All of that over x minus 2 times x plus 2 plus x minus 11 over x plus 2, x minus 2. Their denominators are the same, so we can combine the top. 2x squared has nothing to add to it, so we'll have 2x squared. We have a negative 2x and a 1x. That gives us a negative x minus 11 over x plus 2 times x minus 2. Okay, then in number two, we factor the denominator first. So we're going to have x plus 6 over, we'll factor this into two parentheses, x times x, and then to get 12, we could do 2 times 6 or 3 times 4, and 3 times 4 will work because then we add 4x and 3x and get 7x. Okay, minus 5, then there's something that we can factor out of here. We can factor 2 out. So 2 parentheses x plus 4. Okay, so this one, we'll wait till we, before we do the other. We want them to look alike. They both have x plus 4s, but this has a 2 and this one doesn't. So we're going to multiply this one by 2. This one has an x plus 3 and this one doesn't. So we'll multiply this by x plus 3. 2 times the x is 2x, 2 times 6 is 12, minus 5 times x, minus 5 times 3, which is 15. That would be 5x minus 15, over 2 times x plus 4 times x plus 3. So 2x minus 5x is negative 3x, and 12 minus 15 is negative 3 over 2 times x plus 4 times x plus 3. Okay, so what I want you to do is this puzzle, and I'm not going to necessarily have you do all of them. I think what we're going to do is <coughs> the circle of ones I want you to do. Number 1, number 2, number 3, <clears throat> number four and number five. <clears throat> okay, and then let's do number seven and number ten. Okay, and if you want to do all the others, you can, but definitely do the ones that I've circled, and <clears throat> I want you to. You can check your answers back here, okay? We have 15 over x squared minus 9 plus 2 over x plus 3. When you get the answer, you come back here and look for it under answers 1 through 5, and you mark out the answer. And if you want to do it all at the end, you write in what's left. So you're marking out answers you're not going to use. <clears throat> okay, if you have questions, let me know.